You all knew I was going to shoot a logo three for the record. Come on now. Uh, she's incredible. Trending today, Iowa Hawkeye superstar Caitlin Clark, and she is now the NCAA women's basketball all-time scoring leader. She set the record last night in the game against Michigan. There's the shot. She now has a total of 3,528 points. Wow. She made the record-breaking shot with 748 left to go in the first quarter from nearly half court. She wasted no time doing this. So Clark unseated former Washington star Kelsey Plum, and she finished the game with the season-high 49 points. She also had 13 assists, so she shares the ball as well. I don't know if you guys saw this, but uh, wow. the tickets to the game last night were the most expensive basketball really? tickets for uh, a women's basketball game ever. Professional. Oh, do you know college. what it, that looked like? It was several hundred dollars to get oh in and see history. Gosh. So That's she's amazing. Incredible. Caitlin yeah, Clark, wow. I think, will go on to be one of the best shooters of all time. And then on Saturday night uh, for the NBA All-Star Game, mm -hmm. Steph Curry and Sabrina Ionesco are going head-to-head -to, -head to see who can outshoot in three-pointers. So excited wow. to see That's that. That's going to be too. exciting. All right, well, take Very a look cool. at this. The fashion world's version of the Super Bowl is just three months away. The 2024 Met Gala is happening on May 6th. And this year's theme is the Garden of Time. Zendaya, Jennifer Lopez, Bad Bunny, and Chris Hemsworth are co-chairing the red carpet event with Vogue's and Wintrow. The host and theme will be re or were revealed in an Instagram text chain post. And officials say that they expect attendees will be inspired to wear fairy tale like outfits, including moody florals. Ooh. I do take this like the Super Bowl. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. I huh. love this so much. I'm so excited to see what everyone's going to be wearing. It's interesting how when the when they actually come with their outfits, some yeah. people it's like, yes, they nailed it. And other people, it doesn't like, really seem to it? connect. Yeah. So huh. It's always fun to see. It's exciting. Yeah. Also fun maybe to see a female stingray in North Carolina aquarium is pregnant, Ooh. but there are no male stingrays oh. in her tank. What? Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> but there are male sharks. Charlotte, the stingray, is due to give birth to four pups in the next two weeks. Some speculate that Charlotte got pregnant from one of those sharks since they also found shark oh. bites on her. Ow. Sharks do that when they mate. But researchers at the Aquarium and Outreach Center have a different theory. They say it's a very rare process called parthenogenesis, in which the eggs develop on their own without being fertilized and create wow. a clone of the mother. So we'll have to see <gasps> what happens. Suspense. Oh, wow. I didn't know that stingrays were called pups. Yeah, I didn't either. Did uh, I think stingrays and sharks, I think they're, they're called all pups. pups. Yeah, pups. Oh, that's oh, interesting. Cute little, oh, cute little mm -hmm. pups there. Okay, well, this is giving me like <laughs> April the draft vibes. Do you think they'll have a live? I think they might have a live Ooh. camera up. Actually, you can watch the Stingray oh, at all times. Wow. Okay. Oh, really? There's a live camera. Okay, and I'm told. I'm cool. told breaking. They are supposed to come out soon. So <gasps> nice. Oh my There's gosh. a chance they come out before the end of the show. We'll update. Okay. You, but wow. Anyways. Gonna have to check in though. All right. Well, we'll wait for that. But I know what is coming ahead.